Hey folks, 1881MF, here we are on the Life Buzzing Channel, and here is the indoor tilapia situation that we have with my homemade filters. I've showed you how I did those on another uh, video. These are my little ones, camera shy. And of course there's those over there, and those over there, and anyways. I've made a little money, so I decided it's time to upgrade. As you can see, that water was kind of gold. I do a lot of water changes, but a lot of effort. So I want to see if I can work on my filtration a little bit. So I bought a sand filter for an above-ground pool and a pump. And instead of putting sand in it, I'm going to use these. Uh, uh, hello? Newbie, what are you doing? Are you going to ignore me now that you walk right through the shot? Hey dude, Butthole. I'm going to use these uh, hydroponic clay, expanded clay pebbles. I think if I'm going to use sand in there with all the poop, it might clog it up too much and I'll be backwashing all the time. This might allow it, you can see it's very porous, might allow it to uh, gather a little more poop in it. So that's what I'm going to do. There's the plumbing. There's the helper. So it's got to fit where this little bookshelf is, so I think I'm going to get rid of this bookshelf. I have another tote that sits right here with clean water, so. Right here is that this big black knob down here. Alright, this one right here, I think. That one is the main valve to my filter system. So, in case it doesn't work, I don't want to destroy all my plumbing. So I will probably, I'll turn it off right here, separate my filters, and then I'll knock this guy off right here probably, and go ahead and start my plumbing from there, come out to my, uh, to my pump and my sand filter, and then leave all this in place empty for the time being, in case the sand filter fails miserably. So, there we go. And I got her all dry plumbed in, so that's the sand filter. So basically, this guy right here used to be spun around, connected down here. So I came in here, put these easy disconnects in here, so when I want to move the pump, that goes to the pump. And from the pump, easy disconnect again, back to the intake of the sand filter and then that goes from here to another easy disconnect comes up here a valve to turn off all of them this one goes to that tank I can connect I can open or close that as I need this skinny one's my old one that'll be going away once this works and then that guy goes over there black handle goes down to one two handle goes off to that tank and they all feed from the bottom of the tank. Same with this third one, you just can't really see it back in there. So, all these barrel filters, I don't think I'll need. I might use them outside, but we'll see. So, it's all dry fitted. I think it'll work. I got it within my space. So, now I'm going to glue it and I'll give her a try. So, we'll see how we do. Oh yeah, this one right here, that's when I backwash it, that'll go to waste, basically. I'm going to hook that up to where the waste goes somewhere where I can reuse it, because that's all the good stuff. Out to the garden, or to another barrel, or another tote, or something. Anyways, stay tuned. So for these screw type um, fittings, I'm not going to glue them, just because I don't want to have to permanently make them part of my pump. So I'm using this vinyl tape or PVC tape I think they call it. This is made for PVC so I'm going to put this on all of these screw type like this. I'm going to put that on there like that. It's like a whole other extra seal of love there. Let me get it to the edge of that one. There we go. That's good enough. And then basically I can take that, screw it right into my fitting, and that's going to give it that extra seal. 
Good idea. So, and that'll be good enough to keep it from leaking. All, of course, all these guys, I'm gonna prime and glue, so, anyways. And then for these other fittings, we're gonna glue them. So, I'm sure everybody knows this, but you wanna use this primer, it's this purple, Ugly. or PVC. Yeah, whatever brand. And this basically, basically preps your PVC for gluing. So, I'm gonna do the inside of this one. I got way more in there than I need. And I'm gonna do the outside of this one. Pretty color. Smells good too. It kinda does. Who likes a magic marker smell? Raise your hand. <laughs> I mean on that. Give us a like if you like a Sharpie. Not really, to all your kids. No, out I know, there. yeah, just kidding. So now who remembers ditto paper? Oh my god, my glue's all hardened. What? Shit the bed. My glue's all hardened. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna have to go get some more glue. So, note to self, this <laughs> shit doesn't even last a year in the can, so that irritates me. It's half full. Mm. Anyways, I'll get some glue and I'll do that next. I just happen to have this other can of this, uh, again, this is PVC cement, CPVC. CPVC. So, I don't know, but it's gonna be quite a little color splash here. So, then you do your glue. Wow. That's probably well more than I need. Get it, in, get it around there, all over. That's, that's very nice. Are we making art or are you putting together some plumbing? And put your ugly letters down so that you're not yelled at every time people look at it. So it is art. And then we're going to put that in there. And if you give it a little bit of a spin. Hmm. There. Oh, it's dripping. That'll be all right. That's it. That's it for part one. Pretty easy. We'll go on and do that everywhere else and give her a test run. All right, so I've got it all plumbed. I've got it all glued, everything with those top sprayers right there. So I think I'm gonna flood the system. I filled this up with that, uh, that uh, uh, expanded clay pebbles that we talked about earlier. I didn't put quite both bags in there, but quite a bit. Uh, Frankly, I'm a little nervous, so yeah, I'm this gonna is flood gonna be it right here. Here I go. This maybe is gonna, something. This is gonna make air water to it. Come on, go. Oh, no. There you go. Here I didn't tighten that. Still got that rolling? Yes. Let's try it again here. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Oh, I'm leaking here too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I need to glue that one. Okay. So, best on the test. Yeah, I'd say cut. Cut. Pretty sure she's gonna blow water everywhere. No. Are you running? Yeah. Got it going? Action. Okay, here we go. I'm going to first. Oh. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> We're back on. Okay, that's why I hurry up and turn it off right here. It's surge detector, and I had my quick vent that I could kill my water on. So honestly, my concept is proven correctly. Water and electricity don't work, and you need to glue every part. I didn't glue this seam right here because I didn't want to ruin my valve like a tight ass. So I'm going to glue these, and I'm going to do the same thing on here so it doesn't go there. Um, Looks like it's pretty powerful, so it looks like I might need to add some more tanks, too. Anyways. Okay, we uh, 
glued our last few fittings and turned her on and she seems to be doing well. She is feeding out here. Going out there. Let's see how the water clears up. It's pretty cold. I put valves on each one of them, which helps because I can tweak it a little bit. Because if you don't have every one of your PVC distances the same to each tank, then they don't pull and drain out level. So I'll probably put some tubes in between, you know, like drill a hole right here and put a two inch PVC all the way through to the other one. So when it fills up and overflows, it goes into that one. Because if one gets jammed up, you know, like if fish gets stuck in there and clogs that up down there, then it may overflow. So, there you go. Our filtration system. An above ground 22 inch sand filter with a 1.5 inch horsepower, 1.5 horsepower motor. cost me $250 I think for that whole deal and then I filled it up with those clay pellets versus sand and it seems to be running just fine. I've even uh, put a little adjustment right here. This is the main, main out. I turned that down just a little bit because huh, that's a lot of suction for just these three totes. Those three have fish and that's my fresh water. So. so thank you folks. Hope this helped you a little bit. You know, I'm going to get them cleaned up a little bit here, hope the water clears up. I still do my water changes, but uh, there ain't no poop left in there, and the smell is minimal now when I feed them. It used to be when I'd feed them, they'd get kind of stinky, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. 1881MF on the Live Buzzing Channel. Let me know what you think. Talk soon. Bye.